Good day, everyone. Fox Blockhead is back, back with you for another episode from the Adults Play Minecraft server. Minecraft Java server. Adults are playing Minecraft. What have we got? Uh, we need some stuff because we need to get started here. Uh, I'd just like to have a bit of a, a layout. Here we go. Some stairs will be good. And some cobblestones. But not so good gear yet. Although, did I find... Uh, I did go caving after last episode. Man, that truck is noisy. Doesn't he know I'm recording an episode here? Okay, so... Oh, this is where we're going. Uh, so we want to head up this way, and I was actually... actually had an idea for a nice stairway. Hmm, get my shovel out. Now, I do like to work with the terrain as much as possible. <laughs> so, if we can uh, not destroy things, that would be good. Uh, but we'll, we'll see what happens up here anyway. Um, I do need to get up though. There we go. Alright. So, we need to get rid of some things. Let's chop down some trees so we can get up here nicely. Uh, so yeah, we're going to work on a bit of a grand uh, stairway going on here. Hey, you see the villagers working down below. Hello villagers, do your thing. Get me some stuff. And one more thing. So uh, the adults play Minecraft server. Adults play Minecraft. <laughs> I beg my pardon, that was a sneeze. Uh, so adults playing Minecraft. So what's probably going to happen here with adults playing Minecraft is that we're going to talk about stuff that maybe adults find interesting. And I'm not talking about uh, adult adult material like swearing and, and things like that. Uh, although I can't be in control of everyone on this particular uh, networked channel group thing, uh, but I'm thinking, like, adulty kind of issues, like, I go shopping and this is what I buy, <laughs> mm, maybe not exactly that, uh, but it was the idea that I had for this particular episode, because I was running, ah oh, man, uh, I was running into uh, one of our major brands of supermarket in Australia. Uh, we have two major brands. We have Woolworths and we have Coles. We say Woolies. Woolies. Uh, or Coles. And I can't remember which one it was. And my wife calls. Says, hey, uh, hey Fox Blockhead. Well, you didn't say that. She said my name. But I don't, I don't want to give you my name just yet. She said, hey, fo Fox. Uh, we need some shampoo. Give me some shampoo. Okay. Can I use it too? <laughs> well, I have to ask, you see, because if I don't ask, you know, I could get in trouble. Might be barking up the wrong, barking up the wrong tree. Uh, anyway, I said, oh, can I use it too? Yeah, yeah, sure. All right. Uh, oh, hello, fox. The little fox. Um, so, so I say, can I use it too? Yeah, yeah, no worries. So here I am thinking, easy, easy job. I'll get some. Get some shampoo. Works for you. Works for me. No worries. Worries. <laughs> Let me tell you. Worries. Because seriously, shampoo is not made for the ordinary average guy. Ordinary average guy does not go in and buy shampoo very easily. Let me stand back and have a look here. Um, I'm going to make it just two. Uh, because I went in, I thought, yeah, shampoo, no worries. And I had to call her back. <laughs> I said, uh, dear, honey, dear. Um, I, don't, I don't know which one to get. Which, which, which shampoo should I get? And I'm going to change my mind and we are going to go one more down. Uh, which, which shampoo do I get? I don't know which one to get. Is, is your hair dry? Or is it fuzzy? Is it because my hair's a little bit oily? Do I get oily? Uh, or do I get, like, straighten, straightening hair? I, I don't really like straightened hair. But I know you straighten your hair every day. Will shampoo help with that? I, I don't know. What, what do I... What do I... What do I buy? I was a little bit stuck. 
And then I tried looking at all the other shampoos and I realized that uh, these kinds of things really aren't made for blokes. They really aren't. Ooh. Because I had a look and I couldn't work it out. I, I just want regular, ordinary, normal, normal kinds of shampoo. What? Why can't? Why can't I just choose that? I should be able to choose regular, ordinary, normal shampoo. Why can't I step up there? Oh, because it's. I did it one too close. My badness. Uh, I, I, my hair is a little bit oily, so I. And she said, "Look, you just buy shampoo for you." And uh, don't worry about shampoo for me. I, if I need shampoo, I can buy my own shampoo. I, yeah, but you asked me to get you shampoo, so I, I want to get you some shampoo. And and you know, this is what you asked me. So I was thinking, I was shampoo. <laughs> so do I? Do I get this one? Or do I get this one? She's like, you're making it too difficult. Stop it. Don't buy the shampoo. I don't want you to buy it. Oh, but but I want to buy the shampoo. Anyway, I looked. Oh dear. So I looked looked for a little bit longer, and I, I I'm still confused. I'm still really not sure whether I bought the right shampoo. Because, I mean, it smells nice. Is is that the defining factor in shampoo? Tell me. Am I right? Am I wrong? Uh, do you have a way of selecting? Oh dear, I lost my shovel. Uh, selecting shampoo. Is is there a better way than than my way? And what do I want to shovel? Get into my tools area. Um, so that that was my dilemma, and uh, I don't I don't really need help with my dilemma specifically. And oh, that's right, I got some uh, got some armor, didn't I? Went uh, went caving. Got some armor. My shovel. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> what do I do? Am I doing it right? Am I doing it wrong? Is it is it something I, I really need help with, or sh should I just not worry? Is it something that I'm, I'm overthinking, perhaps? Maybe that's just it. I'm overthinking it. I shouldn't have to worry. Oops, I dug that one out. I'm not actually even sure what's up this way. Bam. So that was my, that was my shopping dilemma. That, that's an adult... That's an adult problem right there. And that goes to nowhere. It goes to the foxes area. And there's a there's a walkway. Up this way, there's a sheep. Uh walkway. Does this take me to the same place? Oh, oh dear, that was a you. Stop it. The only thing I don't like about these new bushes. Okay, so we've got a couple of different ways. This fox run away of uh, of getting up and around here. That'll be fine. I'll uh, I'll flatten it out and then we'll go this way. And it looks like it's gonna be dark soon. That's okay. So yeah, that's that was my dilemma, and I wasn't sure how to solve it, but I got through. <laughs> don't you worry about me, people. I I I managed. I bought some shampoo. My hair is lovely. It smells uh, delicious. If if your hair can smell delicious, <laughs> I don't know. Does hair smell delicious? Um, but my uh, the outcome of it was this. I think they should have a men's shampoo section. Men's shampoo section with men's easy to pick. This is your shampoo, sir. Don't worry about it. Uh, nice and easy shampoo. My mouse has picked this time to run out of batteries. Excellent. We need to go and sleep anyway. Uh, oh, no. Thank you. Thank you, Vegas Vic. As I fix up my mouse and hope I don't get trodden on by zombies. Uh, so that was my that was my dilemma. And uh, you don't have to care. You don't have to worry. Uh, you don't have to anything, but... If you'd like to share with me your tips for for picking the right shampoo to please everyone, then please do uh, leave it in the comments because I'd like to know what other people do. Perhaps people who are adults, people who aren't adults. Either way, 
Now I do have mozzies blowing in my face as well. Oh. That's what happens in Australia. Yes, we have got uh, our bushfire problem sorted out. Uh, but we've also got a rainy problem now. So, uh, unfortunately, that means that it sounds like we're whingers. Oh, uh, give me fire. Oh, we've got too much fire. We don't want more fire. We, we want rain. Oh, you give me too much rain. We want, we want something else that's not rain. Um, that's not, that's not fair because <laughs> that, that's not us in Australia, but, uh, still. Uh, how are we looking? Alright, so I'm going to dress that up a little bit. I'm thinking maybe some smooth stone up the sides for some balustrades. And we have our first thing done in this village. I'm going to fix up these paths, give them edges, give them all sorts of things. But uh, fix up this guy's farm. This guy, is, it's not, not a very big farm, dude. You, you need a bit better farm. Better farm. Uh, so I'm going to fix up this dude's farm, put some nice things. Oh, mozzie! Oh, it's biting me. Sorry, my bad. It was biting me on, on the arm, so I had to say, stop that. And I bumped my microphone. <laughs> oh dear, is this the most unprofessional uh, episode of anything you've ever seen? Perhaps, but that's what you're going to get with me. You're going to get the real thing. Hello, villager. Hmm... Is that what we do all day? Walk backwards and forwards. You sound like my teenager. The fox in the background. Oh, that sounded cool. <laughs> all right. Well, anyway, that's all for me for now for today. If you have any tips or things you'd like to share about shampoo, please leave them in the comments. Find me on Twitter, etc. And uh, if you've got any, any handy hints for uh, how I can do this better, perhaps. I don't know. I like it. It fits in with the landscape. I'm going to fix up the side so that looks all nice and it'll, it'll fit into here. I think that's what I'd like my paths to be, three wide. And there we go, we've got the first little part of our village done sorted out. Yeah, alright. <laughs> well, thanks very much for watching. Until the next video, see you later alligators.